Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with Sonic Adventure, and I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. I am uh, back from being done with work, so it's time to get some real hashtag work in. It's yeah. time to go snowboarding with Sonic. <laughs> hashtag Dude, real work. I was thinking about this game today, you, because <laughs> you were? this has me thinking about it again, obviously. Um, of course. And it's interesting how That's Sonic right, up and, forward, and Mario same level team. design has, has changed so uh -huh. much. It um, has. Because, you know, in, in the 2D era, they were pretty similar. Like, they had, they were primarily horizontal level design that had, like, vertical routes that you could take. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the jump to 3D, Mario went basically full platformer, right? Like, more of a, a sandbox sort of level design. Yeah. Where you're just in a big box and you go around it to get the stuff. Whereas Sonic stuck with the you're always moving forward level design. Um, I, I always wonder how that, if, you know, Mario made the right decision in this, because especially <laughs> in the early, like, I think Sonic's better with it now, because gaming has progressed to that point, you know, yeah. where it's easier to do. But in these kind of, like, in this era of it, I always wonder if that was the, the right call, because so sometimes these games are like, you're just going forward you can't fucking see anything cameras all over the place you can't <laughs> do anything it is an interesting case of design uh do, did i go through here i actually don't remember now <laughs> because i i got that completely lost after doing that one little bit there um yeah it's very hard to like talk to people about the specific era of stuff because it's hard to be like oh yeah before mario 64 nobody knew how to move in a 3D plane. Like, there were people yep. who tried, and then they all failed. And then yeah, Mario... Yeah, I mean, look at Crash Bandicoot, which was, like, one of the, the primary platformers of this generation, is yep. is not really a 3D game. It is not. It, it is, is a... It is a 2D game, mm -hmm. just with a 3D models in it, and, you know, a little bit of left to right. Of course, um, yeah. And then... And then you have, like, Spyro, which, which is much more traditionally 3D, like Mario was. Yeah. And it, it's... Kind of the same with um, RPGs and like Zelda a little bit too, like those styles of games, where like before Ocarina of Time, before Final Fantasy VII, people didn't know how to translate that to this new stuff, you know? Yeah, they just straight up didn't know. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. And we're still experimenting with stuff. Um, yeah, this is like the Wild West era of gaming. It really is. It's it's such a fascinating way to look back at it, too. Like, for example, one of my favorite stories ever is that if you ever played Bubsy 3D, which is like a nothing game, um, they spent all their money on... The, the, all the, like, if you look at that game, it was one of the first times that I realized that they think that they could texture something. So they're just like, oh, we're just going to have crazy textures. So they had, like, crazy high-res textures, but then the textures that they have are nothing. <laughs> Because they spent it all on trying to make it look good, but then while they, the, what they basically did was like get a 1080p uh, picture of something that was green, and that was it. <laughs> and they were just trying to figure out like how to actually make 3D environments look good and do all this, and it results in a lot of like experimenting. Um, it's actually pretty similar to how a lot of people who made fighting games back in the day, a lot of times you'll find, like, an old fighting game, and you go, like, were they cooking? And the answer is, no, they weren't. They had no idea what the fuck they were doing, and they were just trying to see <laughs> how to make stuff happen. Um, it's a fun time, though. Like, here we go. Now we're here snowboarding all year. Uh, and it gives you the snowboarding song. <laughs> it's so good. It is. This game and Final Fantasy VII, two games that just randomly have a snowboard sequence in it because it's rad. <laughs> yep, because it's just rad to do. Exactly. I have no idea what's going in front of me. I have no idea. What matters here now is that I don't die to that. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh. But yeah, that's, that's also why I'm also sometimes pretty forgiving on a, of a lot of 3D platformers of this specific day. Is that a lot of the time the answer is, like, they just didn't know. Like, yeah, how they would... were just trying and seeing if it worked. Exactly. Um, which has made it pretty didn't tough. It didn't always work. No, it just, <laughs> straight up, work. it just straight up didn't always work. <laughs> oh, if you jump on the ramps, he'll do tricks. Oh, wait, will he? Oh, okay. Let me when, try. You, when you go on one of those orange ramps, if, when you get to the red part of it, hit the jump button and he'll do a trick. Yeah! 
<laughs> this game's great. You won't hear any other. Uh, wah! damn it! I missed that one. Never take it all back. Game's terrible. I want it to be known that I'm gonna jinx myself. I've gone through three levels that have not taken a single hit of damage in all three of them. Yeah, you you definitely just jinx yourself. It's coming. It is 100% coming, but I just want to make it known because I'm you're never gonna see this level of prowess of me in a, in a Sonic <laughs> game ever again. I cannot explain to you. This is this is the telltale sign that shows that yeah, I played a lot of this game uh, in my teens <laughs> because I'm actually able to play. Wait, I say Whoa! you're not able to immediately die. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Okay. The song is so good. Sonic music is crazy. It is. <laughs> Sonic it's music so is amazing. Whoa! Yes. Not pictured yes. Tails, which he'll tell us in his story about how he beat us here. How he beat, yeah. <laughs> Notice that Tails is not present. <laughs> not present whatsoever. 191 rings. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. He says to a completely empty giant white space. To well, nobody, no, including no Tails. No Tails. Tails died somewhere back in the day. He went through the. He did not make it through the snowboard. All right. Uh. I think now we fight Knuckles, am I correct? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. If my, if my, if my memory is serving me correctly on this one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is the... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, because whenever you hit Knuckles, he goes, oh, no, oh, no, in the same monotone voice every single time. Oh, no. All right, go down. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Just hanging out. <laughs> no, if you just yeah, if you just miss that, there was a red dude to the side. Oh wait. Yeah, unknown from me. I'm unknown, able Banger. unable to hear this song without the remix that just goes "I'm Knuckles or Knuckles." <laughs> yep, there he is. Oh no. Oh no. I got you. <laughs> I love it, it, this 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 dubbing only gets funnier when you realize that they were given no direction for what yep. what what is the context of this? Why am I saying oh no? Am I being hit? No, just say oh no. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's my line, Sonic. <laughs> this fucking just always <laughs> off screen. I wish it is so good in this game. I wish I had to get right that waterfall the entire time. <laughs> Stupid knuckles didn't even see me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Idiot. That's right, fool. <laughs> we, what about you? Huh? God, Eggman's act. He understood. He's gotten progressively more fucked up. That's actually my favorite part about seeing this all disjointed. Is that just every time he calls Chaos, he looks more and more, like, weirdly fucked up. Yeah, he's, like, more crazy shaped. Yeah. It's like, how the fuck did he get to that? And then it's like, well, you play Knuckles. Oh, this is the part where I might actually die. Yeah, this is, like, a terrible fight. Yes. Pretty sure he has to do this fight three times, too. Because he has oh, to do yeah, it yes. Sonic and his tails and his Knuckles. And Knuckles, yep. That's why I remembered, like, oh yeah, I'm likely dead here. Chaos 4. Alright, let me just quickly grab a ring! Alright, alright. Oh god. 
Okay. I like how in this water you don't sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just like weirdly. It, it's like on it. a viscous in a kind of weird way. Yeah, it's like thick. That thick water. Thick water. water. <laughs> this is the thing that Bebop drank. Oh god! Camera fighting against me, my second enemy in this. There we go. Thank god that he is not an actual fish and needs to come up for air. Or I would be completely screwed. Oh god. It's the hard lock on that is the hardest part about this boss fight. <laughs> is that they keep uh -huh. wanting to put you right in front of him. Alright, alright, there he is. Oh. There we go. Alright, just one more. Oh god. Down here, near, 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 near. But yeah, um, what I'm saying is that if you're a young kid, just imagine growing up and then like one day you wake up and you're like, I guess someone figured out how to move in 3D. It blows your fucking mind. My brother came into this world just understanding that people knew how to move a camera. <laughs> that was not the case when I was a child. <laughs> no, no. There were certain things that were still being worked on. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Are you just gonna fucking troll me the entire way, sir? Oh god, oh god. That was pure instinct that got me to dodge that. You're you're risky with your boss battles. You just pick up all the rings. I like to leave them in case I get hit so I can come back and get them later. Oh, well, that's usually like the way I do it, but this for this fight there's just no way of doing it. I swear I I did. What was it, boy? I said are bored with mental disabilities I think they're usually good at one thing especially I think my thing was a Sonic game <laughs> anything else my brother says when someone's born with mental disabilities he thinks that they can be good at one thing and he says his one thing is Sonic <laughs> 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 and it's true he is much better than me in all forms of Sonic just clicked oh yeah let's check out this giant egg machine now loading i remember as a kid here not knowing where to go after this i think um i, I know you have to get up the egg carrier somehow i think you have to fix the tornado you go to tails's plane shop yeah yeah i think it's a great ship oh my god chaos so strong <laughs> <laughs> later <laughs> No one gonna follow him? Okay. We just kinda look. Bounce up and down a little bit. Okay, then we have like this weird sky sequence. And then we crash. Find out more in Knuckles' story. <laughs> God, this fucking song play. <laughs> You can now play with Knuckles. But we're gonna finish Sonic Stories first. I was uh, telling, I was uh, talking to my brother last night about, um. Oh, 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 hey, Knuckles. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Uh, I was talking to my brother about the Faulkner score, about how every single song of his from Dragon Ball Z just ends in a. Ah! <laughs> like every single scene of his and it ended up it ended with us looking up that truck scene from him <laughs> when he's going to destroy android 16 the one where he says you can't open that android it'll be the death of all of us no <laughs> i love that one and then he blasts it and it clearly goes hit the deck what <laughs> Oh, it's so fucking funny. These trees. <laughs> it was like an hour of us just quoting that video back and forth to us. But yeah, he, you know, he has to protect the trees. I want to fly. Tails build this. <laughs> He's a, a super genius. Only on only other rival is Eggman, so he's able to do it. Hop in, and by that I mean hang on for dear life, because there's not a second seat. <laughs> How else are you gonna do it? We no expense was spared on that flying animation. Zero. 
Yeah, I would be scared of my fucking mind in this. Do you think this is the where the origins of um, a bunch of mini games in your games come from? Is actually Sonic Adventure? <laughs> uh, it might be a bunch of pointless apps mini games. Yeah, if you really think about it, Sonic Adventure was the first to do this. Um, because I saw a lot. Some people a little bit bemoaning the fact that there's so many in Final Fantasy VII, and there's a lot in Like a Dragon. And I'm trying to remember where in gaming did this actually start? And it might actually come from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> The idea that um, there's the main game and then you just do a bunch of weird side things as well. Like weird mini games. Uh, which is obviously the fish, even though the fishing is a part of a main narrative thing. Yeah, technically it's a main story. It is. I mean, that's the difference. That's the thing that they learned is like, hey, maybe not make it main story. <laughs> I have no idea how to control this reticle, if I'm being 100% real with you. I think if you hold the shoot button down, you get like a lock on targeter. You are correct. Yeah. Now here's another test, because I also remember sometimes occasionally failing at this as well. Oh god. And you can see I'm taking some health damage from this. Hey, Tails, do you think you can maybe not <laughs> fly like this? Sonic, I'm trying to get them in my reticles. <laughs> Just hang tight. Yeah, Sonic is just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh god. A lot of guns on this biplane. There are. Do you think Eggman has a permit for this plane? Or does he just like not care about what the government thinks? I think the answer is he does not care what the government thinks. What boy? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Eggman might be just too smart. We un we know that the president exists in the Sonic universe. <laughs> Does not mean that uh, Eggman has to actually follow the decrees of the land. Because he is trying to build his own utopia called Eggman Land, where he controls the, the government, I guess. Way to, go, Tails. Way to go, Tails. Now, please hold the plane steady. <laughs> No, 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 all that bullshit that you were doing, don't do it anymore. Yeah, that has to be, like, against the Geneva Convention of some kind. Whoa! Nice yeah. job, Tails. Nice job. <laughs> you did it. Now we're falling to our death. This is where our paths converge. Actually, I don't remember. Yeah, he, the Tails has a race with Amy, I think. No. Now, what does Tails do with doing that there? That son. No, everything Tails does is, is Sonic or against Eggman. Mm. Never mind then. Tails. Tails. Oh God. The kid unfazed, unhelping. You're not who I'm looking for. <laughs> There ain't no Hulk maniacs here. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Later, strange hedgehog that fell from the sky. <laughs> Can you talk to her? Uh, Sonic goes to Twinkle Park and Tails is already at the sky deck. Oh, okay. That's where the paths converge. What do you what say you, lady? Should I buy a swimsuit? I can't make up my mind. And the store's gonna close soon. No, you should just swim in your fucking cardigan. Hell yeah. Get live, live live your life, girl. I'm not gonna stop you from just jumping head first into some fucking water. La la la, we're in love. La la la, we're in love. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to <laughs> dump oh, his no, ass. Sonic saw you singing that stupid song. You're acting cringe, honey. I don't care. I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> nice car. Okay, so Sonic uh, Tail should be apparently be in the past right now during this. Oh god. Oh. It's fine. Uh, no, that's a couple's thing. Yeah, that's when that's when you're with Amy. That's yeah. when you do that. Jump ah. into the ball. Jump into the ball of light. It'll tell you where to go. 
there's no reason to go to the station. They're on strike now. You can't go anywhere. Oh, of course. He's like, don't be a scarab, Sonic. Oh, wait. Is this, is this like the city hall level? Maybe. What's wrong, kid? The trains are on strike. Now my dad has no way to get home. Who will Pay think of... Pay them a livable wage, then. How about that yeah. shit? How about that, kid? Let me tell you about the causing rate of inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your dad would be able to spend more time at home if he didn't have to constantly work. Think about that next time, kid. Sorry. <laughs> didn't... Sorry, Sorry officer. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, are you a customer? We're on strike. Oh, never mind. You're not a cop. We're protesting for better working conditions. It may become a long battle. Hell yeah. Fight the power. We'll fight till we drop. We have to stand up for our rights. You're damn right. Yeah. Solidarity. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll yeah, oh, the trains are down? I'll gamble a little. Yeah, well, let's go gamble. Dun, dun, dun. What do you have to say about the... I'm the hotel manager. Call me if you need anything. By the way, a girl with pink hair came here. Headed toward the casino. And looked like someone was chasing after her. Is I that, did nothing is, to Is pink stop. hair what you would say? Is, is, does Sonic have blue hair? Is I, that what I, we're saying? I guess... T Blue hair, technically, yes. I mean, I would consider it hair to a certain extent. The first piece of genuine fear in his dialogue. <laughs> He's terrified of women. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, don't cut the song. <laughs> you can play with Amy now. Is that what they're calling it nowadays? No it's evening already. Rush hour will start soon. I should go home. Oh, wait, the trains are down. Oh, no. As soon as the sun sets, I just automatically head this way. Oh, my God. It's not my fault. My feet have a mind of their own. My mom wandered into the casino again. Damn. <laughs> Just gonna slowly walk away from this situation that you got built up there, kid. <laughs> I never... We can't I... call Child Protective Services. The trains are on strike. No, <laughs> you call up Child Protective Services and they say we're well, war on strike. So we get a better living wage here. Ow. I was just saying hello to that Hydra and I meant to do that. Alright, now we can go to Twinkle Park. Sure, that's what you can say. Oh, now what? <laughs> huh? Really like the idea that you could tell who's commanding presence of the scene based off whose song is playing. Yep, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> How do they have facial recognition for Sonic and Amy? Uh, that's a good question. Um, never explained. Maybe that the they they've programmed it in to see like okay these two are clearly hedgehogs and in love. <laughs> it, they just know. It's just the power. Twinkle Park. All right, I think we can pause here and then come back for some more Sonic Adventure for next time. Now that we've made it all the way to Twinkle Park, uh, we'll be back with some more Sonic Adventure as we get. We're we're over halfway done with Sonic, aren't we? Uh, sort of. Uh, this is exactly the middle point. Sonic's yeah, got ten stages. Sweet, we're at the middle point then. We'll be back for some more. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, boy in the back. Goodbye. Until next time, everyone. Peace out. <laughs>